hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happiness in the country obaseki wiki Dan Obi and others set to get international award in the United Kingdom. Wow, quite interesting. And um, the reason that has, uh, this has been put out there is that um, these people um, they've contributed immensely. They uh, uh, they've contributed immensely to the democracy and youth empowerment in Nigeria. Wow, that's interesting. We know um, some of these governors they are really working hard to better um, the lives of people in their respective states. They are working really, really hard. Some of them are past um, governors. Uh, they occupy them various positions in the past. But the United Kingdom has um, decided to award them for their contribution to democracy and youth empowerment. We'll bring you all of the details, guys. And please, at the end, let's hear your take if you feel that um, these guys really deserve this award. We know that um, in all that has been going on in the country, even in past elections, the international community they've been watching they've been following closely everything going on even regarding the uh, current crisis the current um, security challenges that the whole country is facing they are watching as well and they are seeing how the different state governors are doing their best to ensure that lives and properties are secured the international community they are watching we'll bring all of the details in a bit but before we do guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you once again Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki, his River State counterpart, Neisom Wike, Chairman of the South South Zone of the PDP, People's Democratic Party, Chief Dan Obi, and former Minister of Works, Ak Mike Onole Meme, and former Senate President Bukola Saraki, are top dignitaries to receive international awards in the United Kingdom for outstanding contribution. To democracy and youth empowerment the london-based pan-african non-governmental organization eboin ambassadors will also honor presidents of liberia and sierra leone george way julius mado Bell, respectively governor of sokoto state amin otambua or your state governor shayma kinde and senate minority leader senator ayana ya Abaribe, former Kogi West Senator Dino Melaye, Oyo State House of Assembly Speaker Honorable Debu Ogundoye, and a host of others. Women are not left out as the first ladies of Kenya, Burundi, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Edo, Akwaibon, Kwara State. Mrs. Margaret Kenyatta, Mrs. Dennis Bunchumi, Nku Ziazi, Mrs. Fatima Maldu Boye, Mrs. Claire Marie Duncan Ware, Mrs. Bestie Obaseki, Mrs. Martha Udom Emmanuel, and Mrs. Ulu Folake Abdurazak, respectively, are built to be honored with the prestigious award in women empowerment. According to a statement, the organizers of the prestigious London based Pan African non governmental organization, Ebony Ambassadors UK said its 2021 annual edition will honor some notable iconic achievers on the African continent for their outstanding contributions to the development of youth and women empowerment in Africa. The Beauty Pageant and Award Ceremony Christine African Youth Empowerment Award EAAYE will also feature the crowning of the 2021 Miss Ebony Ambassador. In a statement signed by the Chief Executive Officer, Mrs. Irene Eribo Ani, said the core objective is to develop and empower African youth. The group added that it will also be using the event to honor outstanding African leaders who have performed credibly well in youth development, capacity building, youth inclusiveness, in governance, and creating an enabling environment for youth to excel in their chosen endeavors. According to the organizers, the mission for the award is to identify and recognize African leaders 
for their efforts in developing their constituencies v survivor capacity building among youth and african leaders of tomorrow who are prepared to take over leadership roles in their respective life endeavors by 31st of july 2021 we'll be crowning a new miss ebonya basedo queen who will take who will be taking up projects in some african countries like the previous queens had done countries like the gambia ghana sierra leone nigeria and rwanda are built to be visited during her reign we have some distinguished african leaders both male and female who have done credibly well in the last few years in terms of youth inclusiveness in governance capacity building empowerment and giving the youth opportunity to be useful to themselves and society so as part of this year's celebration which happens to be our sixth edition We'll be recognizing and honoring these African men and women who have done well for our women and youth. As an organization that has its core mission and vision focused on youth development, we see the African leaders as partners in that regard. African leaders like the President of Liberia and Sierra Leone, First Ladies of Burundi, Kenya, Liberia and Sierra Leone, the Governors of Rivers, Delta, Sokoto, Edo, Oyo, and as well as the wives of the governors of Akwaibom, Kogi, Edo, and Kwara, will be honored for their contributions towards the development of the African youth, women, and the girl child. Other top notch personalities to be honored are former Senate President of Nigeria, Dr. Bukola Saraki, Senators Dino Melaye, Senator Ayin Naya Abaribe, Dr. Mike Onole Mene. Chief Dan Obi and Daisy Danjuma for tenderness of democracy and youth and women development categories respectively. Our event projects have gained huge support from different international bodies such like the Prince Charles Foundation, Young Barnett Foundation, Morrison's, Tesco, the Big Lottery Fund, Near Neighbor here in the UK to mention just a few the statement further mentioned well this is interesting to note i know the argument would be that um, not all of these names mentioned have really contributed uh to uh the development of uh uh <laughs> contributed to democracy and youth empowerment let's put it that way well my people let's hear your own take and this is what uh, has been stated that um, it's going to be happening soon award is going to be given to these guys but let's hear your take those who you feel merits this um, award and those that don't we really love to hear from you thank you once again please don't forget to like share and to subscribe like come your way again with more updates bye